Okay, here we have our uh, wind turbine base along with the J bolts that come with the package. These J bolts are going to be submerged in concrete and used to hold the base. Notice that it goes nut, washer, base, washer, nut on the J bolt so that the base is sandwiched between washers and nuts. Okay, the next step is to dig a hole uh, approximately 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters and then 80 centimeters deep. You can make the hole bigger than that, but don't make it smaller. I just used a uh, regular shovel to get through the side and then a post hole digger to dig out the hole. And it didn't take long, even in the winter here, to get through that. Next step is to place a board over the hole, and that's what we're going to balance the base on and uh, make sure that it's level. We check both directions to make sure that the base is level. Because if the base isn't level, the wind turbine is not going to stand straight up and down. So this is an important step. Okay, we now have this pretty much level. The next step is going to be to pour concrete. Okay, we dug the hole deeper, um, over four feet deep now until we hit some bedrock. And we got some rebar to strengthen it up because it gets cold here and the concrete can crack. Okay, there's our quick creep, and we're going to mix uh, a few of these 80 pound bags in this wheelbarrow with a hoe and some water and add our rebar and see how that works out. Okay, so now we're going to mix two bags of 80 pounds a piece in the wheelbarrow at one time of quick creep. Don't wear your best clothes when you do this because you're going to get a little bit of the uh, cement on you. Okay, I think we're looking good here as far as uh, having the concrete mixed to a decent consistency. I put in uh, more than the amount of water they said I should use for starters, but uh, ended up using about a gallon for each 80 pound bag. And they said to start with three quarts, don't exceed four and a half quarts. So that looks pretty good to me. It's flowing, it's still kind of firm. So uh, that's what I'm going to go with. Okay, now we're putting some bent pieces of rebar in the hole to hold the uh, deep sections to the shallower sections. The rebar was bent by placing it in a pipe and then using the pipe to bend it. And my neighbor Dave Garlock is bending the pipe for us right now. Okay, just enough to tie the two together. Okay, now we've got 480 pounds of concrete in here and we're still not full, so I'm uh, 
got somebody running out for more concrete. In the meantime, the J bolts are, are uh, below the surface of the concrete now. So I've gone ahead and leveled it off in both directions, and it's uh, looking pretty good. Now we'll just add the rest of the concrete, check level one more time, and then cover the hole so that we trap the heat in from the concrete because it's going to drop temperature-wise tonight. Right now it's in the high 40s, and it's going to drop down into the low 20s tonight. Okay, now we're, we brought it up right to the base, and we're going to let it dry and see what we got there. I'm just going to double check that it's level from all directions before we call it quits because it's starting to rain. We're going to cover the hole to retain the heat.